Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can do soft body simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's add an object. So go to this add or else you can press shift A, come to this mesh options and let me select this torus here. So I will place that torus here. So here I will be converting this torus into soft body. So first let me right click and shade smooth. So select the torus, come to this physics property and add soft body. So now if I play this, you can see it will be oscillating in its position. So this is because of this goal option, we need to disable this one. And now if I play this, you can see it will be falling down. So now let's add an obstacle plane. So go to this add mesh, select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling. And for this, we need to add collision or else the object will fall down. So if I play this, you can see the object is falling down. So select this plane. Come to this physics property and add this collision. So if I play this now, you can see the torus will not be falling down. But it is acting weirdly. So come to the starting frame, select the torus. So here we can see this pull push. These are self explanatory. So I will increase this pull value to 0.8 and push value to 0.8. Okay. So now let's see once again. So if I play this once again, still it's not looking good. So come to this bending options and increase this bending value to three. And now let's play this. So let me play this once again. So now we can see we're getting the desired look. So you can play with the values of this pull and push to get different results. So this plasticity, let me show you what this is. So beyond the first frame, come to this first frame and let me rotate this torus here and i will increase this plasticity to 100 and if i play this now you can see this deformed portion will not be getting back to its original place so before when this plasticity is zero this whole torus will be coming back to its original position but when I increase this plasticity value this deformed portion or this deformed mesh will not be regain its original position. So if you want to have this kind of look you can play with the value of this plasticity. So here I will make this plasticity zero because I want this original torus to be regaining its position. Now if I play this you can see it collides with the plane and also regains its original position. So this is what I'm looking at. So I will bring this, let me rotate this here. So now let's add another object here. So go to this add here. I will be using Susan. So come to this mesh and add this monkey, which is Susan. So press three for side view and I will place this here and hold control key and rotate it in five degree angles now let's place this just above to the plane so here let's place this susan just above to the plane here okay now right click shade smooth come to this modifier options add modifier and add subdivision surface okay so let's play this once again so now this torus is not reacting with this susan head so for that again we need to add collision for this Suzanne head. So select this Suzanne, come to this physics property and add collision. So now if you play this, you can see the torus will be reacting with this Suzanne model. So if you want to add another torus object or any other soft body, we can add that. So for this time being, I will duplicate this torus only. So shift D and let me place this on Z axis. So now if you play this, we can say this torus is going through another torus. So again, we need to add collision properties for this torus also. So select this torus and add collision. And for this torus also, we need to add collision property. So now these two torus will not 
pass through each other they will collide with each other okay so let me show you this material options also so select this storage come to this material properties add new material and base color i will change this to green let me move on to this shading viewport and in order to make this look like jelly we need to increase this transmission value increase this transmission value and reduce the roughness so now we can see we got that look now select this storage and add the same material also so if you want to change the color we need to click on this number or else if i change this now you can see both torus color will change so for that reason we need to click on this number so that the connectivity will be lost between these two and after that we can change the color so now you can see we can change the color so let me select this susan and let's add a chrome metal so let it be gray and increase the metallic look and reduce the roughness now select this plane add new material come to the shading so here we got this principal bsdf so select this principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t for node wrangler and by the way if you are not enable this node wrangler go to this edit preferences come to this add-ons and in search search as node just search as node by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and after that select this principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t to get this node wrangler so from here we can add any texture onto this plane so here i will be using a wood texture so let's select that one so open so here i will be selecting this wood material so click on this open image so now here it will be updated so you can see we got this updated so you can add curves to make it bit dark so shift a come to this search and look for curves select this rgb and place this in between these two and reduce the curve value here so it looks bit dark after that move on to this layout once again so now we have added the materials so in order to render this scene out first we need to bake this simulation so select any of the torus here come to this physics property so here i want to bake this 250 frames so let's come to this cache option and by the way if you want to have this simulation played slowly come to the simulation options here we can reduce or increase the speed so come to this cache options so here i will be simulating from 1 to 250 so i will leave this 1 to 250 so if you want to trim this out we can change this end frame value so if you want let me show you i will trim i will trim this to 225 frames okay so that only 1 to 225 frames will be baked and after that click on this bake button so once the bake is done so here you can see the bake is done so after that let's move on to this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so here let's add some light so come to this world properties color add this environment texture so here we need to use an hdri image you can download free hdris from polyheaven so log into this polyheaven and download any hdris you want so i will load an hdri here so open So here we got light in the scene. After that, we need to hide this. If you want to hide this out in background, we can hide that one. So come to this render properties, enable ambient occlusion and the distance. I will change this to five and enable the screen space reflections, refractions also. And if you want to have the transparent background, come to this film options and enable this transparent. After that, if you want to add shadows in the scene, we need to add a light source. So for that, again, go to this add, come to this light options. I will here, I will be adding this sun. So press Z, Z, let me place this here. Now press R and rotate this. So here you can see we are getting the shadows here. So if I increase the intensity, so if I change the strength to three, we can see we are getting those shadows. So depending upon choice, if you want the shadows or not, you can use the light source. So here I will be leaving this light source here like that only. So once this is done, in order to render this scene, first we need to add a camera. So go to this add, add camera here. So now we are not seeing through camera. So in order to see through camera, we need to press Ctrl Alt 0. So now we will be seeing through camera. So after that, press N on the keyboard, come to this view options and enable this lock to 3D cursor and lock to camera view. So now if we move this, we will be seeing through camera only. If we are not enabled this, let me show you if we are not enabled this one. And if we move here like this, we will be out of this camera view. So for that reason, we need to enable this option. So again, Ctrl R0 
and enable this lock to 3d cursor lock to camera view okay so let me adjust this here like this okay so once the position and angle is set come to this render options so before do that so come to this output properties here we can select the resolution so currently the resolution is set to full hd so i leave like that only enable this current render region crop to render so frame rate i will change this to 30 fps okay and render frames only 225 is fine because we have baked only 225 frames so i will change this to 225 so from here we need to select an output folder where we can save the output files so here i have selected an output folder where i can save this file so file format i will change this to jpeg if you want to render in png select this png and make sure this rgb alpha is enabled or else we won't get the transparent background so here i will be changing this to jpeg only or else if you want to render this out in video format come to these options and select this ff mpeg video okay after selecting that come to this encoding options and here we can select this h264 or whichever format you like so here by default h264 works fine and quality output you can cap lossless or else you can choose depending upon your choice and this is also you can choose so here i will change the file format to jpeg because i want to render this in jpeg sequence so let me place this here okay so since our output folder and format is selected now we are ready to render this in so in order to render go to this render and click on this render animation that's it so in this way we can create this soft body simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.